Here is Bryce from Ohio. Hey, what's up, Bryce? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Um, first of all, love the podcast. Uh, you guys are definitely some of my favorite people to listen to, and your information is just gold. So thank you guys for just putting that out there. Cool. Um, so, so my question revolves around hormones. So I, on a whim, a couple months ago, just took a testosterone test, and it came back, and my levels were extremely low. I, I believe they were like 200 nanograms per deciliter or something like that. And I'm a young guy, I'm 23. So um, obviously that's you know below the, the normal range for any male, let alone being so young. So um, I've kind of tried to implement some things myself, um, but I guess what, what should my training, uh, nutrition and really lifestyle look like in general to, to try and, you know, get those testosterone levels up uh, what should what should those things look like in the process of doing that? Okay. Um, well, first, let's talk about what you did. You said you did some stuff already to to try to work on it. Right. So I was I was very lean when I I've been very lean for about probably you know four years probably you know sub sub eight percent body fat. Um, so I think that definitely had an impact on my levels. And some of the things that I did were really just kind of gain some body fat, you know, make my body feel you know, more safe. And um, so those thing can, things can start to auto-regulate. And I kind of reduce my exercise regimen a little bit, um, increase my calories. Like I said, gain a little bit of weight. Those have been the, the two major things that I've done. Okay. And uh, have you been lifting weights? Yeah. What's the exercise yes. training? What's your programming look like? What did it look like before? And what does it look like now? So, so before it kind of looked like a split routine, like a push pull legs. So hitting each body part, maybe twice a week or so. Um, and now it kind of looks something similar to, um, I guess maps anabolic style where I'm really only doing the, the compound lifts a few days a week. Um, so, okay. Um, now have you gotten retested? Have you seen if your testosterone levels have changed at all? Um, they have, they've gone up a little bit. Um, but I guess it's, it's kind of a, a slow recovery. They tell me because, you know, I, I put my body in that state for such a long time. So it sounds like, I think they went up maybe a hundred points in the last. Yeah. I, yeah. Dude, that, I think it sounds like you're doing really good. Think about that's a 50% increase if you were at 200. So yeah. I, it, you're definitely on the right track. I mean, uh, I would have suggested a maps anabolic, programming for sure uh increasing calories like mm -hmm. you said probably but you were right on with that probably addressing sleep making sure that i don't know what stress looks like in your life maybe looking at things like that but if you've already jumped 100 points already uh that's pretty damn good yeah i would look at vitamin d levels if you haven't already um and you could try eating more dietary cholesterol in some cases that raises testosterone but here's the deal with the number that you gave you said 200 uh, your, your testosterone came back measuring at 200. That's, uh, that's pretty low. That's, that's lower than I would say. I think it's like half of men in their seventies will have testosterone higher than that. And if you, if you doubled it, let's say you doubled your testosterone, you would be at 400, which would still be considered low for your age. So the reason why I'm saying this is, be, is, is for the following low testosterone, um, in that, in that range under 300 has health risks associated with it. So your, your health risks, uh, increase for dementia, for cancer, heart disease, um, and other uh, types of issues. Um, so if you're if you're trying to raise it and you're doing everything you can, and let's say you double your testosterone, you're still relatively low. And you've, if you've been doing this for about six months, I would work with a hormone specialist. And there's a couple things you could do. The first thing that they might do is try to put you on a regimen that would raise your natural testosterone, kind of kickstart it. And it usually looks like HCG or HCG plus something cl called Clomid, which uh, is a, a, a selective estrogen receptor modulator. Um, have you talked to your doctor about any, any of those options? Yeah, so treatment was something that, you know, I thought initially might be something that I would need to pursue, but my uh, testosterone, the hormone specialist would, would not let me get on any sort of treatment since I'm under the age of 25. Okay. And do, really? they, do they have a time frame? Do they say, okay, try this for X amount of time before we'll start to pursue? Because I understand why. If you go on, 
Well, the HCG and Clomid, that's something you would come off. But if you did go on testosterone, um, you're going to be on it forever. It's, it's very rare that you go on and come, come back off. Have you been natural this whole time, if you don't mind me asking? Yes. Yeah, 100%. Okay. And, and, and do they have a time frame? Did they say, okay, let's give this another six months? No, no, there was, there was no sort of time frame. They, they essentially just said that, you know, pay more attention to your diet and, mm. See, you I, know, th- this, it. this sounds like a general practitioner. Is that what it is? Is it you're just your regular doctor or did you go see an actual hormone therapist? Because if you saw a hormone therapist, I can't imagine them telling you that they wouldn't. It, it was a uh, testosterone replacement therapist. Okay. So, wow. here, so here's the deal. Um, uh, okay, so here are the, the, the classic things that can raise testosterone in men, and uh, and they're quite effective, right? You could lift weights. MAPS anabolic style routine is it would be perfect for that. You make sure you get good sleep. You manage your stress. Make sure that your diet is uh, adequate in both fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Um, make sure that you're not deficient in any nutrients like zinc or vitamin D, which can lower uh, testosterone levels. But then there's this, okay? If you do all that and your testosterone raises and it's at, I don't know, 350 or 400, and, you're su- and you also feel the effects of low testosterone, then uh, I would seek another hormone doctor because the low testosterone really uh, hammers your quality of life. Mm-hmm. It really does, especially at your age. It'll it'll reduce your confidence, your drive. Um, it'll of course of course lower your libido, and you have health risks that are associated with low testosterone, which a lot of you know men don't know. They don't know. They just think low testosterone means they feel crummy, but you actually increase your risk of of long term. Uh, disease. And this is becoming much more prevalent uh, these days. You're seeing more and more young men with low testosterone. So I I would seek out another doctor. I would definitely continue down your path and see what happens um, and see if you can get it up to at least the five to 600. That's crazy range. to me that they're, they're telling him that. I mean, because it's because of his age. Yeah. But I, this is very similar position that I was at. Right. So I was all the way down in the 200s. Uh, worked my ass off the you know for a couple of years of trying to do it naturally to bring it back up. The highest I got it was low for like four oh four was the highest that I got it up to. And I still felt terrible. Mm. I didn't I felt better than when I felt at two hundred, which I'm sure you're probably experiencing Bryce, you probably feel a little bit better right now than what you did six months ago, but still didn't feel great. And eventually that's what I did was I went back on I just I mean it's I'm on month two right now of my replacement therapy and feel amazing just because they've got my levels back up to normal, you know? So I'm, I'm now hovering in that, you know, my, I probably peak around 900 to a thousand. And then at the end of the week, I come back down to the 400 range, but just that alone has made a huge difference in my mood, my sleep, my libido, Mm -hmm. like my energy and strength and consistency. So I obviously I'm older, so uh, they are probably less reluctant to probably give it to someone like me, but it's really strange yeah. to me that they're they're not they're not doing that now, for him that low. Now keep in mind, Bryce, we're, none of us are doctors. Okay, so we're just speaking from experience of working with clients and you know and having doctors as clients and friends. But I would look for you know I would recommend you look for another opinion. And I've had several clients who've had low testosterone who were young, uh, young men, um, both of which who were trying to also mm-hmm. conceive. And the doctor uh, did put them on HCG, and it was relatively successful. I had uh, one guy I trained; uh, he got his testosterone levels up to in the in the high 500s, for, and he was down. Uh, I think believe he was lower than 200 when he first started. So see if 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 some of these treatments are an option for you. Um, it's not permanent, right? The HCG protocol is is not a permanent protocol. If you go on TRT, though, you're going to have to make peace with the fact that you're probably going to stay on it for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm still tripping that uh, it was so low and you're so young. Uh, w- were you competing? Like, what was the motivation behind being so lean for that long? Essentially. So w- once I got to college, just about five years ago when, when it all started. So when I got to college, all my roommates loved to lift and everything. And Around that time when I started lifting, I also found out about like clean eating and all that stuff. So I mm. dropped my calories, you know, dramatically and, you know, mm. chicken breasts and egg whites, you know, mm-hmm. and I thought that was healthy. Right. And I did that until I thought that was the way to results, right. To get more muscle. So I continued on that path until essentially I had like barely any energy, you know, any muscle left on my body. Mm. Um, and I, I felt definitely all the effects, you know, of low testosterone, but in the moment I didn't know I was oblivious to them. Uh, so, 
And Bryce, have you gotten your new have you gotten nutrients like zinc and vitamin D tested to see if you're within range? Oh yeah. I have not got those tested. Okay. I, I do take, you know, a multivitamin with it's got some zinc in it, and then I also take vitamin D, but I've never tested those numbers. Go go get your nutrients tested. That makes a huge difference. Mm-hmm. That can make a very, very big difference. And then do you use uh do you use marijuana or cannabis? Are are you okay talking about that? No, I, I don't. Okay. Okay. In some in some men, uh, marijuana use uh, it's been speculated to lower testosterone as well. But I'd go get a nutrient test. Make sure that you're not deficient in, in especially key nutrients like zinc and vitamin D. But others can actually affect testosterone as well. Continue doing what you're doing with your training and your diet and your sleep. And then I would look for another uh, hormone specialist um, to come up with a plan. You know, to say, okay, look, I'm going to try these things. At what point do I start to go the pharmaceutical route to try to get my testosterone levels up within range? Because, uh, like I said, it's a it's a dramatic reduction in quality of life, and you also it also comes along with health uh, complications or health risks. So it's not just about feeling crappy; it can actually have some long term health consequences. Right. Okay. Um, I don't I don't know if you guys have maybe this isn't the right question to ask you guys. Have you ever talked with people or experienced clients that you've had that? have been in this situation, how long it may take to, you know, naturally get yourself out of that state. Yeah. Getting your, with testosterone levels, raising them naturally, in my experience, a a, a great outcome is a 50% increase. The problem is if your number is at 200, a 50% increase brings you to 300, which is barely at the lowest end of Mm -hmm. the normal range. So I've, I've, I have had one guy double his testosterone, but he also had a nutrient deficiency. And nutrient deficiencies can cause some pretty interesting things to happen. So um, again, I'm, I, you know, we're not specialists in this field. We just have experience working with people who've done this. I would seek another professional and yeah. see if you can have some kind of a protocol. So it sounds like they kind of disregarded you, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All, All right. right. Thank you guys so no, much. I appreciate it. No problem, guys. Yeah, yeah, this is a this is an epidemic. Uh, t- low testosterone. Know, it's crazy, man. It is. Um, it's really crazy. And again, people don't. In 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 you know, general practice, what was crazy that he said he went to a a, a hormone specialist. Yeah. Usually, general practitioners, if you're in the range, you know, which is 300 to 1100 usually. Uh, you know, so if you're at 300, even 290. So do they think that because he's so young, it's just going to naturally spike back on its own? I think they're afraid of having him do something that's permanent. You know, t- if he went I on see. testosterone, yeah, that's it. He ain't going off because now he's going to whatever little he makes, it's gone. Yeah, and he could impact his fertility. That's probably the other thing because if he wants to have kids later on, mm-hmm. then he would have to go on a fertility protocol on top of it, which would include like I, what, what I said earlier, which was HCG. Well, mm-hmm. I imagine too when he when he went in to see his doctor, if he doesn't have any other mark that are showing that the effects of having low test are affecting that in his body, they're going to take the chance and just say, let's see what happens. Yeah. But it, uh, really unfortunate that there's no plan behind that for him. Right. You know, I didn't mention to him, but you know, there, you just recently talked to the the guys over at Juve and they've actually started to show some case studies of people that are using that yes. to raise testosterone levels. A little bit more expensive to, to, to try, but um, you know, there's some people, we had a friend, Mike, I remember he, t- he did that exactly. That was all he was trying to do was, mm-hmm. can I use the juve light to raise my testosterone? He was in the 400 range, but he took it all the way up to 750. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 I'd the, be trying everything if I was him. Yeah. Well, the way that red light therapy works is it, it's a, it actually causes the cells mitochondria to produce more ATP. So they start to become more effective. So when you shine the light, no joke, this is no joke on your testicles as a man, mm-hmm. it'll make the, the, the I think the lighting cells is what they're called in the testicles, produce more testosterone. And so they've shown this in a couple loose studies and some anecdote. I've had a, a few people who've yeah. measured their testosterone notice results from that. But, uh, but yeah, it's disheartening to hear that, mm-hmm. that, that, that it sounds like the doctor was kind of like, you know, yeah, uh, dismissive. Exactly. 